What's going on guys? This is Riggs. Welcome back to their PUBG Mobile video. I'm going to try my best to get through this video. It's a very, very important one, even though I'm super, super sick. Um, but we're talking about the official patch, patch notes for update 2.3. And this thing is jam-packed. It's a bigger update than any of us uh, were expecting. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and kick this off, no pun intended, with the themed area, the football carnival. Now, what's interesting is it says the mine pit area. I don't know what exactly the mine pit area is. To me, that sounds like quarry, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comment section, but it's going to be an area uh, which is going to have all different types of loot. It's basically going to be the hot drop, right? But as we've seen, like up by Stauber, over by Quarry is where they kind of have these two, you know, special event locations. So I, so this one is pretty much going to be the same. Tons of loot. It's basically going to be a hot drop. You can get respawn cards and everything else when you land there. And of course, the, the football areas, as expected, as we talked about in my last video, it's going to be on Orangel, Livic, and Noosa. It's unfortunate none, none of the other maps um, you know, were given any love in these areas, but it is what it is. Those are the three maps that you'll be able to participate in the football arena. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and read everything, but we do have the official aftermath mode, which is now going to be available. I didn't even know that the original one was beta or whatever they were calling it. But they have a bunch of different changes. I'm not going to go over all of them, uh, but definitely check out the patch notes they have that I have linked below. Uh, but yeah, the official aftermath is now here. Now let's get into the map changes. This is stuff I like. Let's get into the classic changes. We're gonna get into the firearm changes, the actual numbers. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on, got a question for you. Are you looking for a new mobile game jam packed with unique strategies, champions? bosses, and endless possibilities, the Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. Personally, I've been playing this game every single day for the last two years, and there's literally something for everyone. Whether you're a champion collector, whether you're into uh, rank grinding and leaderboards, the arena is the place for you. If you just want to farm dungeons, you want to knock out the bosses, collect loot, your free rewards, there's something for everybody. And this is a huge month for Raid, you guys. They just launched their 15th faction in the game, with the addition of the Sylvan Watchers. What kind of champions will you find in Sylvan Watchers? We're talking Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, Phase. You guys get the idea. And of course it was off camera, but I just pulled my very first champion from the brand new faction, Sylvan Watchers, which is King Galkabar. And for those of you familiar with Royal Passes and Battle Passes, Raid Shadow Legends just launched the Forge Pass, a brand new season that just started where you can get your hands on one of the best gear sets in the game, Defiant. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't played Raid yet, make sure you guys click my link in the description or go ahead and scan the QR code that you see on the screen and you'll get a ton of unique bonuses. We're talking a free epic champion, Rector Draft, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, one ancient shard. You can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. And as soon as you download using my link, you'll find all these treasures waiting for you right here. So what are you waiting for? Join me and millions of Raid Shadow Legends players from all over the world. All you have to do is click my link in the description Download the game. Now let's get raiding. So let's go ahead and start off with Noosa. We have crate improvements. Crates can now appear in more locations, so there's a higher chance of finding a crate. Okay, sounds good. Uh, building improvements. The LOD building, uh, or the LOD brightness of buildings in Noosa has been improved. Distant buildings are now more visible. All right, check. Sounds good. Terrain improvements fix the warping of some terrain. Minimap improvements. Didn't know there's a problem with the minimap, uh, but it says that the minimap performance, um, there's going to be less distortion. So maybe that was on certain devices. Orangel map updates. Okay, very, very important. Now, understand, these are changes to the actual Orangel map, the classic Orangel map. They're going to be permanent. All right, these are not temporary changes. Supply warehouse added a special room in Orangle. It says a special room. So is there is that does that mean there's truly only going to be one? We'll have to wait and see. Added a special room in Orangle that requires an access card to enter. The room contains lots of advanced supplies. So we have seen this in certain events where you loot up, you, know, you find a key card, you go to the building, you open it. 
it like opens up like a vault door and there's a bunch of loot inside. So I imagine that's what they're talking about. Hopefully there's not just one room though. Stalber improvements, reduce the complexity of some layouts to improve the Stalber region and make searching the area more streamlined. I'm gonna have to test this out myself and do, maybe do a separate video on this. Not even sure what all that means, but we're gonna have to check it out. Stalber, uh, Stalber cable car, say that three times fast. Added three cable car routes to stall where players can use cable cars to move around the area swiftly. We've seen this like in the winter theme modes uh, where they have basically like the ski lift. Um, so we have seen this before, but now it's going to be a uh, uh, permanent change coming to the map. Again, PUBG Mobile has an obsession with Quarry and with Stalber. So here we can kind of see it like continuing on here. Uh, but yeah, so we have some changes coming to Stalber as you guys can see. Vehicle radar, add the vehicle radar to the supply shop in Classic Orangle. So this isn't an item you can loot, but it can be purchased with the little coins and stuff that you find on the ground at the supply shop. Uh, it can be used to scan for vacant vehicles nearby. That's actually clutch. Like sometimes you don't know what end is it going to be. Think of like... Um, Yaznaya. Sometimes you, it's hit or miss where there's going to be a car. So if you go to the supply shop, which you know where the supply shop is, it's on the mini map. But now you can go ahead and pull this up, and now you'll be able to find a car. So this is actually, this is actually really cool. I like this as a permanent change. Livic map updates, not aftermath, but the classic Livic weather system. Added dawn and dusk to Livic for a fresh vis visual experience. I was trying to get into uh, some Livic matches for the past, I'd say three hours uh, on and off uh, in beta. Could not find a match, could not get into any Livic match whatsoever. So I wasn't able to bring you guys this gameplay yet, unfortunately. Refinery improvements tweak the stage to improve the combat experience. All right, here's the firearm and vehicle updates, okay? Improve the firearm performance while aiming down sights and reloading action of the NS2000. I always thought this weapon was good, even you know, even looking down the sights. But some people said that you know it wasn't their favorite. They're just using it close quarter combat, but they really want to make this uh, you know an, an uh, all-in-one you know type weapon where you can snipe with it, you can use it in CQC, you can use it for everything. Uh, but yeah, the NS2000 getting a huge buff. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that's going to play out on the brand new map on Noosa. Bolt action sniper rifle enhancements. This is These are bigger changes than we ever thought they were going to be. Uh, first off, we'll start off with the Car 98K. Base damage increase from 79 to 82. That is fat. That is insane. They increase the damage by three, uh, three more damage. That's insane. Uh, limb shot damage multiplier increase from 0. Uh, 47 to 0 0.55, another huge buff. Bullet speed increase. This is probably the biggest one, even more than the damage. Bullet speed increased from 760 uh, meters per second to 850 meters per second. You're, you're not going to have to compensate um, where you're going to have that reticle in order, say, to get a headshot, where you'd have to aim a little higher, you know, to anticipate that bullet drop. This is almost, this is 90 more meters per second than the original Car 98. You're gonna have to basically relearn how to fire this weapon. Bolt action speed increased and firing interval uh, reduced by 30%. So now you can, now you can reload it faster as well. That's crazy. This is gonna be crazy. These are some crazy changes. Uh, the M24 limb shot damage multiplier increased from a 0.47 to 0 0.55, just like the car 98. Bullet speed increase, same thing, 760 meters per second to 850. Bolt action speed and firing interval reduced by 30%. Uh, AWM, limb shot damage also increased. So basically, you don't just have to bank on getting a headshot or a shot to the torso. Now, even if you get a, sh uh, a, a shot in the arm or the leg, it's going to do more damage. Uh, same thing, both action speed increased and firing interval reduced by 20%. Uh, sniper rifle, at so not only do they buff these weapons at an at a insane, a, a insane rate, but we have the sniper rifle attachment improvements. Compensator for snipers. 
adjustment. Firearm effective range increased by 10%. And then we have the bullet spread reduced by 10%. Uh, flash hider for the snipers. Uh, the adjustment, the bullet spread reduced by 5%. And then there's also been a buff to the cheek pad where the bullet spread is reduced by 10%. And then the bullet spread when scoped reduced by 10%. And then for the vehicle, it also mentioned vehicles. They call them vehicles. We call them bikes. Uh, but the mountain bike improvements, the mountain bike now balances better than before. That's nice because sometimes, you know, you'd make a turn and you do like a 720. Um, so that's going to be a big change. I'm actually a big fan of the mountain bikes. They also have a brand new, um, cre it's called creation system in game where it says a creation system has been added and can be accessed via the emote icon during gameplay. Use different camera styles to take, to take creative pictures or clips and share them. You know, so if you're talking about sharing them with your friends on social media, making it easier, you know, to get, to get more content out there. The original photo feature of Cheer Park and the results page have been integrated into the creation system as well. All right, here's a couple of battle system changes a lot of us have been asking for for a very long time. I'm so glad they're finally here. Um, the main one is added distance to the elimination broadcast when making long distance eliminations. Very, very cool. That's going to be a nice uh, quality of life update right there. Now, this is the big one. This has been a glitch that's been in the game for quite some time now, uh, but they have finally fixed uh, the issue that caused players to not make footstep sounds when performing a melee attack while jumping. That was a huge issue. It was being used in tournaments. It was being used, you know, everywhere uh, where somebody using, you know, this glitch or, or it's more of a bug, you know, someone using this bug uh, to their advantage. So I'm... I'm I'm very, very happy that they're fixing that. Uh, they've also adjusted the footstep sounds to better distinguish between enemy and teammate footsteps. That's interesting because I've always thought they've done a really, really good job at it. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can clearly tell when it's my teammates' footsteps and when it's an enemy's. To me, it's very distinct. So the fact they're going to distinguish it even more is only going to be better understand there's a lot more this thing is jam-packed full of changes different events you know uh, uh, other changes uh, that they've made I just covered the main ones that I thought is most important you know to the everyday player make sure you guys go ahead and check it out uh, I do have the link down below go ahead and check it out if you'd like and of course of course let me know what you guys think of all these changes coming in the 2.3 update down below but until the next one this has been Riggs